Yo, people, how is it going? Please like, share, and follow. Um, I can see not pressing the uh, follow button or the like button. You're not sharing. Please do it. Anyway, um, welcome to my double match week or match day 34 midweek. I forgot to add these to my weekend predictions. So yeah, watch and, watch and enjoy. We start at the Emirates for Arsenal against Chelsea, a big London derby. A couple of weeks ago, I'd have probably said 2 0 or 3 1 Arsenal. Chelsea's form has really gone up. Um, a lot of it, I have a lot of it, is to do with Cole Palmer, but also I think everyone's just playing better for, for Chelsea. Um, Arsenal have been doing very good until the, this recent blip of losing 2 0 at home to Aston Villa. Then obviously being dumped out of the Champions League by Bayern Munich. So, um, I think this game, Arsenal obviously want to beat their arch rivals, but also this is the game where Arsenal want to say, hey, we're still in the title race. So therefore, my prediction will be Arsenal 2, Chelsea 2. On to Molyneux for Wolves against Bournemouth. Yes, maybe for like Bournemouth, I would have probably said Bournemouth to nick it 2-1. But as, that's, as it's at like Wolves, Wolves are getting players back. Everyone knows this is the most volatile time of the season to be, to be picking up points. I have a feeling that Wolves are going to this. Wolves 2, Bournemouth 1. On to Crystal Palace against Newcastle. Now, don't be fooled by Newcastle because of their home form. Because their away form has been pretty shocking. But, it's a little bit picked up recently. Crystal Palace should be confident after be stunning Liverpool. But beating Liverpool, stunning Liverpool at Anfield. I think Newcastle will have... Nick it though, I have a feeling. Crystal Palace 1, Newcastle 2. Now, on to another big derby. A Northern derby. The Merseyside derby. River Mercy is going to be the most popular river in world football on Wednesday night. Everton versus Liverpool. Everton always raised the performances for the arch rivals across the park. I think, though, however, this time Liverpool will have too much for Everton. Everton know that they need points to stay in the Premier League and no better way of getting points than beating your arch rivals. But Liverpool is crops last season. They want to stay the title race. Anything less than a win, it's over for them. Everton 1, Liverpool 3. On to Old Trafford for Manchester United against Sheffield United. Now, my prediction, well, not really a prediction to be honest. The reality of this is, for me, Sheffield United lose this. They are down. Man United would be so determined to win this game. They will not want to drop any more points between now and the end of the season. Of course, but it's got to be said. I think it's going to be a bit more strolling the park for Man U, to be honest. I think it's going to be a bit cruise control, too easy. Let's be honest, it's going to be something like Man United 4, Sheffield United 0. Now on to Thursday, the final game of midweek. It's at the Amex 
for Brighton against Man City. Now, everyone can say, oh, of course, Man City are going to win this comfortably. But Man City, the last couple of times, have not been that comfortable winning at the Amex. Um, what, did they even win last time? Or was it a draw? I think it was a draw last time. I think it was, anyway. Anyway, um, if Brighton can do what they're capable of, Forget it's the last season. If it is his last season, that's saying that's an if. Rumours are saying it is, but rumours would say that. But if it's his last season, give him a really good farewell and show him what you're about. I'm not saying you're going to go win, but of course it's going to be 2-0 Brighton. Nah. Um, but my prediction is Brighton and the Arabian one, Man City, two. I hope you've liked, press the like button and the follow button, and I hope you shared with a few friends for them to share on as well. But for me, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.